Hey everybody. Hi. Welcome to Take a Hike with Ben and Casey Davidson. This is hike number four. Four. And where are we today, Casey? We are on the beautiful property of Bethany Community Church. The beautiful property. <laughs> Bethany Trail. Uh, it's a 1.5 mile trail around the property. Uh, it's got a few hiccups in it right now because of the construction, but soon enough that'll be taken care of. So, um, welcome to the fourth hike. Uh, before we get into the nitty gritty, we want to talk about how you and I approach email. Mm -hmm. And half the world just unclicked off of this video <laughs> after I mentioned that, right? But uh, I, I enjoy efficiency. Yes. and enjoy thinking about the best way to do things and so my email inbox is empty right now good job how many are in your inbox casey um i don't know maybe 700 emails <laughs> <laughs> and i i've tried to show you the ben davidson ways of yes of email yes you have you you have done your due diligence in trying to help me and i know it probably annoys you Oh, I have 700 emails in my inbox. <laughs> annoy might be a strong word, <laughs> or may not be a strong word. <laughs> so yeah, um, but you know, so just just so folks know, what I do basically is I don't treat my inbox as a, as a to-do list. Find an app, Evernote, Todoist, OneNote, where you don't have to use your inbox as a to-do list. That's that's the key. That is your. That is the key. Wisdom for the day. Yes. Man, it's pretty back here. <laughs> so I don't I just want people to know I, I'm a Midwest boy through and through, so I love this. And I love that. <laughs> oh, and I love you Thanks. too. I should just skip over you. <laughs> so um another thing we want to talk about on this hike today, though, was the idea of worldview and just how often in the media around us that we watch, that we click on, that we listen to, we might not be aware of how much the worldview of that media might be kind of seeping into our own thinking and then affect our theology. So you have read some books recently. You, you like books that have to deal with adventure. Yes and tr true stories of survival survival of the fittest type of things <laughs> right which is funny because i i'm like scared to go on a ski lift <laughs> scares me to death well you live vicariously through those but people i love to read about those <laughs> yeah yeah those stories yeah so um why don't you tell us about one of those books you've read and how exciting it was <laughs> but then also how you saw a whoops you saw a worldview creep in yeah. to that to those books yeah so it's been a couple years since i've read this one but it's called into the wild okay it's, it's a biography it's based on a true story or it is a true story not based on it, it is this true story of a young man who um wanted to survive the alaska wild on his own yeah totally off the grid okay without any help is this guy with the bus yeah okay the guy with the bus yeah Okay, sorry. Um, so anyway, it, it just, it gives a story of his life from uh, from birth to death. And it's just really fascinating. I love to read stories about people's lives and how did they get from point A to point B and why did they do what they did and how they make the choices that they did. But, um, but go, I'll go back to the story in a second. But okay. I think when you think about worldview, you can think about three three main principles, right? Okay. What does this article or blog or story that I'm reading or thing I'm watching on YouTube say about how did we get here? You know? Number one. How did we, how get, did here? we get here? Number one. Okay. Number two. Number two. What is our problem? What is our problem? And number three. Number three. How do we solve it? How do we solve it? Okay. Very good. So as you're reading or listening to something and you can discern what is this particular piece of information telling me about how we got here, what is our problem, and how do we solve it. Okay. Um, but anyway, going back to the book. Yeah. So the main character, the, the man about what, who this book is, is about, his life. Anyway, he, from the time he was young, he just really, really struggled 
with authority. And he okay. really wanted to not have it in his life. He wanted to not an to have to answer to anyone. Mm -hmm. And he also, I believe, in my opinion, I believe in some way that protected him from being hurt by people. If I don't have to answer to anyone, they can't hurt me. Okay. And also, I can be independent and make my own decisions about everything. I don't have to answer to anyone. I don't have to pay an electrical bill or a grocery bill. Mm -hmm. Or I will just be completely on my own. And I think that will protect me. It will protect me from hurt, right? Because I'm not, I'm not having right. to trust people or- No relationship right? to be hurt by. Right, and I can be completely autonomous. And while I don't think there are many of us that go to that extreme of this young man, right. we, we do let that worldview seep in, in smaller ways. Yeah. About, I want to answer only to myself, and I will be the authority in my life. Yeah, that so, thread runs through all of our hearts. Right. So it goes back to the first question, how do we get here, right? Mm -hmm. So if you don't believe, as this young man did, in a creator, then you, then you are going to be more tempted to go down that path mm -hmm. of I don't need anyone and I will be completely in charge of what I do. So. Right. And so he, he defined his problem as much different than a believer in Jesus would. Right. And how to solve it. Right. We wouldn't have gone that route. Right. That he went. Right. But, you know, the grace side to him and to anyone who who uh, does not have a relationship with Jesus, they're, they're trying to figure out how to make sense of life apart from God. Right. And so we don't talk poorly about them. We should not make fun of them. It's only by God's grace that we're making sense of life with God. And so our, our worldview is not because we're so smart or intellectually superior to the guy in the book. Right. It's by God's grace. Right. So... Yeah, now you've read some other other books too, more recently, that kind of deal with the same theme of adventure and <laughs> sustainability and yeah. those kind of things. Um, but do you find that same stream running in those people's minds as the books play out, as, as the guy in Alaska? Oh, not necessarily, I don't think, Yeah. to that extreme. But okay. I do think the for the second point that we talked about what is our problem right i think that plays out in smaller ways when you you know you read a lot about oh we just we just need to help people be more educated be more kind to others because our problem our problem is just well we just don't know any better or right we're just we're just naturally not that nice to people you know so just thinking about well our biggest problem is sin like that right that's our biggest problem yeah and don't and, teach me methodologies of how to be nice yeah because if my biggest problem is i'm completely selfish right i'm not going to do those methodologies right. i might do them for a time yeah but it's not sustainable yeah yeah uh, did i cut you off no no, no okay well hey here we're at a trail marker let's show this trail marker to people see come on out it's a great little trail Tells you where to go, about 26 of these signs or so. Again, you might be, need to be a little bit creative with uh, where you go because of the construction, but uh, this is Ben and Casey. Thanks for taking a hike with us. Anything else? Nope. <laughs> Have a great day. Bye. Bye.